good morning actually good afternoon it's 11 o'clock welcome to a productive day in my life which doesn't sound all that productive now that I say it's 11 o'clock but hear me out hear me out okay camera what the hell are you doing come here come on do your job hi guys so I don't know if you can tell but this video is from like a really long time ago it's from like a month ago because I've been in school for a couple weeks now I think I don't even know honestly I don't know the concept of time whatsoever but this video is from a while ago yeah just dismiss all of the time stuff like me saying like before school starts, blah, 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 because I wanted to get my school videos up before this one. So yeah, this is old, but enjoy anyways. Yeah, so enjoy. <laughs> Fuck is that? I don't know. I woke up about 9.15. Went downstairs, made this coffee. What did I do after that? I made breakfast, been chilling, you know. Then I decided to start editing my vlog from Family trip I went on. Sorry, I don't know what this is. It was me trying to remember things because my brain's not working very well. But then I realized that today actually has to be a, like a really productive day. Like, I get that editing is a very productive thing for a YouTuber to do. I have to get a sports physical or else I'm not going to be able to run. I need to get a Celsius for practice later. I need to go to the bank and I have a check to deposit. And then I also have some cash to deposit from my serving job. <sighs> Oh no, my camera battery's low. I'm gonna have to go get a new one. I need to get these beans ground because I get them whole beans so they don't go bad. Those are the things I need to do today. It's not that many things, but I thought why not make a video about it because I love talking. It's like nothing even happened for you guys. We're fully charged and we're ready to be productive now. I also didn't mention that I need to get all of this stuff done before like two o'clock, so. And I'm also like not feeling my best, but you know, we gotta grind all day, baby. You know what I mean? I've never done these videos and I like watching videos where people have a whole bunch of stuff to do. This is like an adulting video. Something else that I have to do is that I'm gonna go into the place where I got my hair put back to blonde after I dyed it black last year. I don't know, it was like blackish brown. Not my best moment, but I wanna go there and see if they can fix my roots because they are like, look really dark and my hair is usually like blonde. I think after I dyed my hair brown, my hair follicles were like, haha, you're gonna have brown hair forever. The rest of my hair is really blonde. And then my roots are all pretty dark and I've just been watching some of my videos or like when I edit and I'm like, oh, your hair looks bad. My grandma was like, well, you better go talk to the lady and see what she can do. And I was like, all right, grandma. So I'm adding that to the list of things for me to do today. And I wanted to get that done before school started, but you know, school really just crept up on me, okay? Also, today's Tuesday, which means tomorrow's Wednesday, August 21st, which means that tomorrow night I go see Cody Ko and Noel Miller live with my best friend Cecilia and I'm literally so excited for it like you don't even understand. I am pulling up to the place where I'm gonna get my physical right now and I'm gonna leave my camera in the car because I don't think that I need to bring it into a physical if you know what I mean. I feel like that's not an essential thing for me to have to do. Hello, I'm back. My physical went well. They talked to me about asthma and then they were like, well, I think you're fine to go run. So here we go. He's like, everything's in place. Your blood pressure's great. And so go off. Whatever though, we're off to the bank. I do have a funny story though. While I was in there. So I walk in, she calls me back. We go into this room and then the chiropractor comes in there because I got mine done at the chiropractor. You can get in a lot quicker. Like I literally didn't even have to make an appointment. Anyways, so we're walking in the room. The chiropractor comes in and he's like, hi, my name's blah, blah, blah. And he goes to shake my hand and I have all my stuff in my right hand. For some reason, I always do this. I have big dumbass energy and I hold all my stuff in my right hand because that's my dominant hand. And then I'm trying to switch it all over to the other one and he goes, if you have a free hand. And then my wallet drops in the ground and then I shake his hand and he's laughing. And then I go to pick it up and I look at his shoes and he's wearing like the same shoes as they're me driving and showing you guys. These ones, the ones that I colored on, I can insert a picture. <laughs> no, I. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Sorry. Whatever. He has those ones on, but his are all white, obviously. We both go, nice shoes at the same time. And I was like, did we just make a connection? And we were laughing. And then he's like, yours are cooler, though. 
Yeah, I did that myself, bro. I thought it was really funny. I felt really awkward when I dropped everything and he started laughing at me. I've on many accounts had my stuff in my right hand and then dropped something to shake or I've used my left hand and went sideways because I'm just really awkward like that, you know? He thought I, w I think he thought I was funny. I think he liked watching me struggle. Sports physicals are so weird. He like pounds on your stomach a little bit, check checks out your ankles, checks your breathing, and then he's like, okay, good. And I'm like, the hell? What did you even just, ch what did you check? I understand the breathing, but I don't know. Morning. Hi, can I get a checking deposit slip, please? Yeah. Me being short as f I don't think I'm a stripper or something. Oh my god, I hope they can't hear me talking. Okay. I'm literally whispering, okay? I don't want to look over there because I don't want them to see me talking to you and have them be staring at me because they probably are and I feel awkward either that or they're not paying attention to me at all because I'm a teenager and teenagers always think that everything's about them it's just a developmental process that everybody goes through and I feel like a robot right now and I'm sorry I'm just staring at nothing I'm literally staring at it do you ever get in a world where you like are staring off into space and then like you don't want to pop out of it because that's kind of what just happened to me hi hi There's a teen girl in that car. She's definitely gonna see my camera. I feel so awkward. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was so awkward. I'm almost not a teenager anymore, so I should not be afraid of teens, but I don't know, I just am. That's just how it is, okay? So now I need to go to the grocery store and I need to, dude, pay attention. This guy in his Nissan just almost ran through a stop sign and smashed into me, whatever. What else can I talk about? Mailmen. I want to talk about mailmen for a second. So, and male women, male people. How do things travel the world? Like Amazon Prime. How do things travel the world in two days? Where is all this stuff coming from? How is it getting there so fast? How come everything can't ship that fast? You know what I mean? Like they're doing their job all the time, but how come some things take like four weeks to come? Probably like when they're from China and stuff, but I feel like there's things on Amazon Prime that come from China or different places like that to the US. And they literally take two days. Like, I'm confused. Do they have like a warehouse filled with all these things? Like, a whole bunch of stuff that anybody could order at any time so they're ready to send it out? Or like, how does that work? I don't really know. It's confusing to me. Now I'm confused. They got airplanes too. I've seen airplanes with like logo for FedEx on it and stuff. And I'm like, damn, imagine owning your own jet so you could like fly everything to yourself as soon as possible. I should get a jet. I don't know. I have to pee! Sorry. I talk better to a camera than I do to most human beings, which is kind of sad. But I'm pulling up to the grocery store right now and I'm gonna go get a Celsius. Hi guys, I'm gonna go into the dollar store quick. I haven't gotten any school supplies really and I feel like the dollar store really just always has everything. Oh my God, that makes it look so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, literally, we should give more credit to the dollar store because I literally have so many things for school. Hey guys, so, quick little update. I went to the dollar store and I got my school supplies. So we're gonna do a quick little school supply haul. So first off, I got some shoelaces just for the belt thing that, you know, is going on the, yeah. I just wanted to stop taking shoelaces out of my shoes to wear shoelace belt. Then I got these cool mechanical pencils. They have the little grippies that remind me of like literally fourth grade. I got this sticky note pad. I got a couple of black pens, two binders, and then I got like the things that you put in it so then you can like separate 
separate the like subjects, you know what I mean? And I spent $8.56 on my back to school stuff. <laughs> I got my beans ground. There's a lady coming up about to get in her car right next to me. Hopefully she isn't paying attention. I realized that my nails are kind of grown out and I wanna go get them done before the first day of school. So I'm gonna go see if they can get me in quick and then I'm gonna check out my whole hair situation. So yeah. Okay. I'm back in my room. I'm gonna stand in front of this just so the lighting's not as bad as it is. <sighs> but I finished everything that I needed to do today. Yeah, that's it for my productive day. So I will see you guys soon. Bye.